about two months ago, I visited a distillery here in Jacksonville called Manifest Distillery. Uh, I didn't know I was gonna go. Actually, I captured some footage back then, so I'll go ahead and show that to you right now. All right, so I'm in the passenger seat again. Uh, this time because I don't know where we're going. I have been told we're going to a place I would like, and it's a surprise, so we'll see how it is. Uh, me and Elise are matching today. We got our tie-dye shirts on and our frozen socks. Frozen two. Frozen two. All right, let's see how this place is. Getting excited. All right, we have arrived, and the mystery place is Manifest Distillery. So we're gonna go check it out, try some spirits, hopefully pick up a bottle, and I'll let you know what I think. Let's go. So I really thought that distillery was nice and I ended up picking up a bottle that I picked from some of their choices that they had. Now I did get to taste a bunch of the different spirits that they make. Uh, I don't have any memory of what any of them taste like and what my real opinions are other than this bottle that's been sitting on my bar cart for two months now. So let's take a look. So this bottle is the, the American Single Malt Whiskey. It's 47% alcohol by volume, aged in new level four charred oak cast. It's also small batch. This is batch number two, bottle 443, aged and blended at Manifest. So I've been waiting to sort of try this at home for almost two months now. So let's go ahead and crack it open. Now when we were there, of course, they practiced social distancing and they had mask requirements. Uh, when we were there, there was no one else there. Uh, and they let us taste everything, you know, new plastic cups each time. Uh, we even bought some spray hand sanitizer that they're making right there uh, at the distillery and they could flavor it. So they flavored ours orange, which is my favorite scent. So that was very, very cool. I almost don't want to open it. It's got this nice sticker label over top that says special edition. Uh, but let's open it. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, ooh, this smells good. I'm starting to remember why I picked this. So this is like a little tasting glass that I got online. You know, you can look a little bit cooler uh, using it. So let's pour just a little bit, not too much. Pretend like we know what we're doing when we look at it. You know, the little tears and all that fun stuff. I learned this on like a tequila tasting on a cruise once. Smell it from this side. Mm. If you're like me and you like whiskey, this smells great. They also say, test, smell it from the side. Get different notes. I don't know. Ooh, dang, smells good. All right, cheers. Ooh, that is good. Uh, that is strong. It's very unique. Um, I have about 30 whiskey bottles and, you know, ranging from different areas of the country, uh, mainstream ones, small batch ones, local, you know, massive ones from I Ireland and things like that. Um, this doesn't taste like any of them. I'm gonna be honest, they taste completely different. I don't really know what it is. I mean, they say, you know, that it has the saltwater taffy, nougat, cherries, cocoa, mocha, toffee, but I guess that's what it is. I don't, I don't really know much about this. I'm probably not the best person to do a whiskey tasting. I just really think it's fun to make videos and it's really fun to try whiskeys. 
Ooh, yes, man, that is delicious. Of course, there's tons of people out there that could articulate the flavor of this a lot better than I can. I really think that this is one of the best ones I've ever had. So this is right here in Jacksonville, uh, downtown Manifest Whiskey Project was for this one, but they have other types of spirits there. They seem really friendly. They seem, you know, modern and hip with everything that, you know, is kind of going on. If this is something you're interested in, check it out if you live in the area. And if you don't, if you're just in, you're passing through, you know, you're passing through Jacksonville, test this, test this place out. Grab a bottle, support local businesses. And if there are other uh, distilleries uh, that you would recommend if you were watching this and you stumbled upon this video somehow, uh, let me know. Comment and tell me a place I should check out, whether it's uh, traveling, if it's local to Jacksonville, Florida area. Uh, if I can buy online and have it shipped to try it out, I would love that. That was it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me for this adventure. Uh, I'm gonna finish this tiny little bit here and see you in the next video.